Hey there everyone, we're now on our next video in number theory and we're still in our chapter in the theory of congruences. Okay, and now we're going to start with our very first theorem in this chapter. Okay, so this we call, we'll call this theorem 3.1. I'm um, starting now, we're going to code our theorems so that we won't get lost whenever we will be applying these theorems in the future. Okay, so theorem 3.1 states that A is congruent to B modulo M if and only if a is equal to b plus km um, for some k in the integers. Okay, again, a is congruent to b mod m if and only if a is equal to b plus km for some k in the integers. So let's give a proof for this, shall we? Okay, so since it's an if and only if um, statement, so we need to have the, the proof going from this statement going to this statement and from this statement going to this statement, right? So let's start with the with the um, if part. So okay here, okay. So with this, um, let us suppose uh, that this is true. Suppose that. Um, Suppose that A is indeed um, congruent to B mod M. So then, by the definition of um, uh, congruence, okay, so therefore we say that A, A minus B is equal to KM. So this is by definition. Right? You can revisit our videos, why is it so? If you are not if you're not familiar with this. Some for some for some k in the integers. Okay, so that is if this is true, uh and we know this is true. So we will what we'll do is transpose the b to the other side. Um that is it's going to give us this number. A is equal to by transposition km plus b and then um, by commutative property of um, addition b plus km okay so that's the one that we want to show now for the for the own if part okay for the if rather so this is only if so this is the if part okay um now Going back to the proof, um, we want to now show from here it will go here. Okay, this will yield this. So, um, what do we have? Let's start with this. Okay, a plus kb, a plus um, km. So conversely, suppose a is equal to b plus km actually what we're going to do is i just reverse the steps okay just reverse the step for some k in the integers um then um a transpose the b to the other side a minus b equals km um that is so uh, indeed, m is a multiple of a minus b. Um, that is to say, consequently, consequently, we can say that um, a is congruent to b mod m. Okay, and that ends the proof. Okay, by the by the statements we've shown here, we have shown the if then, if and only if statement. So therefore, this ends the proof that it is indeed true. Okay, so yeah, that's the end of the proof. And indeed, so therefore, we can say that if we have this, if we have this um, statement, a is congruent to b mod m, we can restate that as a equals b plus km b plus km
okay, for some k in the integers. So to cite some examples, shall we have um, down here? But we'll have more space. So let's cite some examples. So example. Uh, notice 23 is congruent to 3 mod 5. Okay. Um, and we can say, therefore, if this is true, um, if this is this, therefore, 23 is equal to 3 plus 5 times a certain k. So what is this? What is that k? Um, 23 is congruent to 3. Um, maybe we can verify this if you want. 23 minus 3 is 20, which is a, a 20. Um, has one of its the factor of 20 is 5, so indeed it's true. Um, or we can we can surely verify that 23 divided by 5 is going to give us a remainder of 3. Okay? But we can also, by the theorem 3.1, 23 is equal to 3. We can restate it as this. 23 is equal to 3 plus our mod modulo 5 times what number? So 5 times something plus 3 is going to give us 23. So 23 divided by 5, what's the quotient? Actually, the quotient is 4, remainder 3. So the quotient actually is what we're looking for. <laughs> okay. So on the other hand, as another example, as another example, let's have 49 okay is equal to negative 5 plus 9 times 6 9 times 6 so therefore we can restate this as 49 is congruent to negative 5 mod 6 okay mod 6 or you can write mod 5 if you want okay um, rather mod 5 mod 9 rather mod 9 okay rather we're going no no mod 9 is not it's not um this cannot be anyways okay or yeah it cannot it can it can anyways so 49 minus minus 5 is going to give us 54 that's a multiple of 9 um 45 minus minus 5 is also 54 which is also a um a multiple of of six so either will do so meaning or we can say or 49 is congruent to minus 5 mod 9 okay so one more example maybe that I'll, I'll give one additional example and then we can move on see we'll have um, uh, let, let's make it simple. Let's make it 15 is congruent to, say, um, 5 plus 2 times 5. Okay? So we know this, this is true, or rather, equal, rather. Let's erase the congruent symbol. It's not going to be congruent, but it should be equal. Okay, equal in uh, equal. Okay, five fifteen is equal to five plus two times five because five times two is going to give us ten. Ten plus five is fifteen. So therefore, we can say that fifteen is congruent to five mod five because fifteen divided by five. Okay, fifteen divided by five is going to give us. Or rather, yeah, 15 divided by 5 is going to give us 3 remainder 0. Or we can check um, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Rather, 3. And then we can say that 15 minus 5 is indeed um, indeed um, going to give us 10, which is um, divisible by 5. Okay. Or also, we can say that 
uh, 15 is congruent to 5 mod 2. Okay, so why is it so? Because 15 minus 5 is going to give us 10. That's a visible multiple of 2. Or 15 um, divided by 2 is going to give us um, a modulo. Okay, which is which is um, a remainder of 5. Okay, actually we can get a, a lot of remainders, right? Okay, um, modulo 0 here, over here. Modulo 0 can be thought of as... Um, 15 divided by divided by 5 is 2 remainder 5. We can think of it as that. Right? As that. That's why it's true. Okay, and 15 divided by 2, we can think of it as as um, 5 remainder 5, <laughs> right? So, yeah, things like that. It, it can it can happen. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um. That's all about the theorem number one that states that if A is congruent to B, mod M, if and only if um, A is equal to B plus KM for some K in the integers. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you would like and subscribe to my channel and hope to see you soon. Okay, thank you very much.